gonna go in there with Martin, ready to scrap, ready to fight, and finish him. All right, what an start. Oh, Diego's on. I'm gonna stay in his face. I'm gonna keep the pressure on him. I'm not backing off. And prove to the world I'm the real number one contender. We're in the main event because we come to fight. We're in there to finish the other guy, so this is this is gonna be action packed. Good straight line. He's finished this fight. Oh, I'm gonna be right there and meet him in the middle. Big shot by Campbell. The hitman looking to finish the fight. His biggest worry should be getting knocked the oh, out. Oh, There's the answer though. I don't care what Martin Catman's done to prepare for this fight. My confidence is ultra high right now. I'm gonna be ready to fight in any position in this fight. Oh, he got hurt. Oh, head kick. I plan on making another statement. What a performance! I'm ready. This victory's mine. I'm ready for whatever he brings. Armin Guillotine! He's out! He's out! So, bring it. Gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Our three judges scoring this contest of octagon sidearm. Chris Lee, Sal Diamato, and William Mattingly. And the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, from the KFC Young Center in Louisville, Kentucky, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record. 17 wins, four losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Martin the Hit Man And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. Holy professional record, 24 wins, 4 losses. Standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the ultimate fighter, season 1 winner. Gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You're gonna have a clean fight. Touch gloves, make it official. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He touched gloves to his chest. Campman and Sanchez. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Ready. And that 
straight right against the southpaw can be effective. Yeah. He's working this single and trying very hard, but Campman does an excellent job of stuffing it, keeping going against the cage. And the last knee by seems by Campman. That was brilliant. Brilliant takedown defense there by Campman. Ever evolving in the octagon. Our MMA fighters. Martin Campman, no exception. Caught him with another left hand. We're, we're halfway through this round and Diego is already busted up. Campman is quietly lethal. He's just so technical in everything he does. Both his ground and his stand up, and his ability to avoid those takedowns. I mean, everything he does is just perfect. Looking for the coach. No, nice knee. Beautifully timed. And look how easy he's stuffing these takedowns. Diego went for the single, and he ate a knee on the way in. I mean, it just looks like he's just much better. Again, with the keeping that, the keeping the fight standing than Diego expected. And Diego's bleeding quite a bit out of his mouth by right? getting eats another punch. Oh man, he's getting lit up. Straight right again. And a nice sprawl. And Diego just missed with a right hand there. That's what Diego's gotta do. He's gotta turn this into a dog fight. He's bleeding really badly out of his mouth, Mike. I don't know what's going on there. But that's, again, that's quite a lot of blood. Lead right hook. It's dripping out of his mouth while he's bleeding, while he's breathing, rather. Total body out of the dead. Campman, former Danish Thai boxing champion, as we mentioned earlier. Diego landed there. One minute. here in the first round for Martin Campman. Go knock the shorts. And Martin saying that Diego's grabbing his shorts. Second fight at 170 for Campman. Stops that takedown attempt as well. Gets him out over the knee. Wow, Diego's bleeding. That is a big cut on the bridge of his nose, Joe. Yeah, his whole face is a bloody mess right now. And you see how the his chest First round for the game. And here we see the replay. Look at that. Diego winds up with a punch, and Martin throws it crisp and clean and catches him before, before his, his shot can get through. And here he's picking him apart. Jab, straight right, and look the way he's throwing these punches. That's the most important thing. They're coming in a straight line, and they're coming very short, and that's why they're landing. Round two. Will it be more the same? Anxious moments in the corner of Sanchez after such a dynamic first round by Cam. Yeah, what they said is they want to take down the attempts. Take down the every time they lock up. They want to him to switch. Single double, single double, switch one to the other. Nice knee to the leg by Diego. Wrestling is his foundation. Again, wrestling at age 12. He can make Martin Cannon work. When he's standing out here like this, he's getting picked apart. Sanchez 
Sanchez looking to explore on his own jab. Camping steps in. Let's go! You talked about it during the walk. Yeah, he's 
stayed technical, stayed superior in his attack and avoided the slugfest. What will we see in the final five minutes? Close fight, main event of the evening. Sanchez delivered some punishment in the second round. You see him early a minute in. You see him moving around and breathing out of his mouth. Including some shots to the body. That shot early to the body in the third took some of the wind out of him. That was a nice count right there.
going to Twitter some pictures of himself tomorrow, and I can't wait to see him. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 29 28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision. Deal!